Our old friend the typewriter took away some of the language's dashes, too. In their place, we got the hyphen, which is the most used of all dashes in English. So if we could only have one on our keyboards for the last 150 years, that was a good one. Unfortunately, with the hyphen being the only dash on the typewriter and later computer keyboard, it was pressed into service where it never belonged, like using a 5 in place of a capital S. The three main dashes used in English and other languages are the hyphen, n dash, and m dash. The colored blocks you see here are not vector rectangles. They're the three dash characters blown up to where you can easily see and compare them. Their length differences are obvious. What you might miss is that the hyphen is slightly thicker than the other two. In some typefaces, it's a lot thicker. You already know how to enter a hyphen. I hope so, anyway. It's the key between the 9 and the backspace on your keyboard. Entering an N dash or an M dash is a trip to the type menu. Then insert special character and finally hyphens and dashes. Now that you know how to insert them, let's talk about when and why to use N dashes and M dashes. Here in a slide that you'll also find in the dashesexamples.ai file are quick examples of all three dashes in use. At the top, hyphens connect three words in a compound word, editor-in-chief. An N dash, which is so often replaced by the more lazily typed hyphen, or even out of ignorance by the M dash, separates a range of numbers in the middle. At the bottom, a clause is offset within a sentence by an M dash at either end. Let's define these a little bit better. Hyphens. Hyphens are only correctly used in five situations in English writing. First and foremost, hyphens break words syllabically where lines wrap, thus Illustrator's paragraph panel hyphenate option. Their next major function is to join compound words such as tabletop and what are called nonce compound words and phrases, compounds created only for use in a specific situation like Ms. Gotta Be All I Can Be, Mr. Know-It-All. Similarly, hyphens are used when writing a list of compound words that share a common ending, for example, two, four, and eight-point increments. The final two proper uses of hyphens are when spelling out a word, like P-I-C-A for pica, and when writing prefixes or suffixes of words. Here are examples of places where hyphens are correctly used. I've skipped including an example of hyphens used to indicate words that break across lines. I'm sure you've got that one down. At the top, we have a compound word and a common nonce compound. The second line is a properly written list of compound words that share a common ending. The first part of the compound word is kept, of course, and the hyphen inserted to indicate to the reader the forthcoming ending word in the compound. The third line uses hyphens to separate letters to indicate that the word, two words in this case, are being spelled out. Read aloud, the text would be P-I-C-A or H-Y-P-H-E-N. Lastly, suffixes listed out also receive hyphens to indicate that they are suffixes that something would normally be written before them. M dashes. As the name implies, an M dash is often equal to the width of a given typeface's capital M, though they're often far wider than the M character in condensed, script, and other typefaces. M dashes are perhaps the most commonly used punctuation character not already on the computer keyboard. They signify a break in thought and often replace parentheses, colons, or semicolons, and sometimes commas, when those marks don't convey the strength or context required. Although some people want to put spaces around M dashes, don't. A space on either end of a dash causes too much white space and hinders readability by creating a giant hole in the text to suck in the reader's eye faster and harder than a Florida sinkhole. N dashes. Unlike M dashes, N dashes are rarely the width of a typeface's capital N. Instead, they're generally exactly half the width of an M dash. Their usage is even more versatile than their more corpulent brother M, but even less consistently employed in modern digital typesetting. Many people consider the shorter, thicker hyphen as interchangeable with the N dash, which is understandable but incorrect. N dashes, by contrast, are used in place of the words to, through, or from, such as in a range of numbers or dates, like the first three lines, and to signify conflict or connection, as in the last line. N dashes are also used in specific instances of compound words, 
But these are not so simply defined, which is why many designers ignore the poor n dash altogether. For the sake of clarity, let's leave those rules for another time. N dashes, like hyphens, should never be surrounded by spaces. Just tuck the N dash right against adjacent letters. If it looks too tight, if the N dash is jostling its neighbors, use a little positive kerning or a hair space, something I'll explain in the next clip.